Right guys, I'm just opening up After Effects again after just recording that. Um, I just recorded the whole After Effects thing and it decided to crash while it was rendering, so I've got to do it all over again. So, we'll just wait for After Effects to open up. I'll speed up this bit. Oh, right, here we go. Right, so we're in After Effects. Um, you can do a lot of stuff in After Effects, but what we're going to do is it has saved the file so it's a lot of images and like a sequence so what we've got to do is we've got to go to import multiple file and then go to whatever you saved it whatever folder you saved it into so mine's in my documents 3ds max render output and then 3d tutorial we just want to click on the top image and click open and done and that will open it as a png sequence then you want to drag it into this new composition button here now make it into a new composition and how long that it goes on for and stuff. So what I'll do is I'll put it in really bad quality because my computer's slow and then we're going to preview it. So here we go, it comes out and up and... There we go, that's our 3D text. So we got all this out, out and up and it looks really good. So basically in um, After Effects you can add a lot of stuff. I'm going to... I'll show you how to do optical flares maybe so what you want to do is make a new solid and you want to affect video copilot optical flares and it's going to open it here there's a really cool box thing and uh, it takes its time and you want to go to options to pick your flare um, what I usually do is go to show presets and motion graphics because these are my favorite ones and you can pick any one of these. I'm gonna go for a since it's quite dark, go for a quite bluey colour. Or we can go for this sort of colour here. Click OK. And go down to and go render mode on transparent so you can have it. And then you can do a lot of stuff for your things with your flares. As it moves out you could have it you could have it um I don't know, you could you could do a lot of so keyframing and thing, you just gotta click the button and then basically click the button here. So it's hundred here and then it's gonna move to there and then we're gonna make it one thousand five hundred. And basically what that does it will sh whoa 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 whoa. Right, right, no, no, we'll do that again. Keyframe it here, you click the little clock or thing and then you just gotta move it to one thousand five hundred and then it should when I preview it back, it just gets brighter over the time, so I'm going to undo that. And you can also do it with the position, you can do it with a lot of things, but I can't be asked to do anything on it. So, what? So you, once you've got that, basically, you're just going to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, drag this bit up, uh, save it to wherever you want by clicking down there, and then you want to go to Output, and that's all fine. So keep that settings um yeah just keep it all like right. keep it all the same as it was when you've put it into the new composition thing so basically and then you just click render and then it just renders away There you go, there's our intro done, and I'm not going to save that. And then you want to go to Sony Vegas, open desktop, get your free, get your intro, and then uh, you got it, you got it in free um, Sony Vegas as a video file. And all we've got to do now to put it on YouTube is um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it all there, go file, render as got your HD settings, if you don't know what they are, go on custom, video, and you want CBR, Windows Media Video 9, high definition, 1280 by 720 frame rate per second, you can have it on 30 or 29.970, and then you got seconds per keyframe, 5, I don't really change that, and then you got the compression buffer, which I've got 3, and video smoothness at 100. Then you just want to save it, and it's fine and dandy, and there you go. So guys, this is how you make a basic 3D intro, very basic 3D intro, I um, hope you guys enjoyed it, this is going to be for my 200 subs, so as soon as we've got 200 subs, this is going to be put on public, and um, 
I will have a material tutorial how to put different material like some reflective materials on your 3D text and stuff in the next week or so and then when I get to five when we get to 500 subs I will have advanced 3D text 3D intro tutorial where I'll show a lot of different stuff in 3ds Max a lot of stuff you can do in After Effects often lots of different camera angles in 3ds Max where you can get good shots and stuff and it'll be it'll probably be about three parts long so that that's something to look out for and at a thousand subs obviously I'm gonna come out something massive not quite sure yet but just keep in um, keep watching our videos and I'll see you guys soon bye